Greetings everyone, and Great here for another Cup Heroes 1 replay. I spawn on the bottom left side as the British forces of Findu. Spawn on the bottom right side as the US forces of Weefer. I don't know how to pronounce that. Spawn on the top right side as the Wehrmacht forces of Yark, Hoon, Neem... I have no idea. And spawn as the other Wehrmacht player, we have Markster. Maxter? A lot of names I have no idea. Do not have a barracks deployed on the field over here. On, you do yeah, see a intersection. Falling to Lieutenant and pack up. Listen up, march in order. So Brendan here is not uncommon as well. We do have the Listen intersection up, going straight for this municipal sector, so it's likely I'm going to set up his Ford HQ somewhere over here. Rifleman or engineers push away for rifleman squad. Nope, that's the other engineer squad. Capture that sector there. This engineers on for this sector now. Over here, Pioneers are captured to this sector. It is a cutoff sector. This munition sector is being captured on up. And this Pioneer is going straight for this fuel point, while this one is aimed for this sector as well. We do have a fresh Schimmenwagen boy down the field. Uh, nothing over here. This may be a MG42 poured on out. And the engineers do capture this strategic point. We're going to see the first engagement here. Engineers versus Pioneers, time old enemies. But the pioneers do get inside the garrison, so it should be a good place for them to fight from. The engineers immediately falls back. Score Prophet cool. Squad does spot these pioneers. They're going to capture that uh, fuel point in heavy cover. They pull it out perhaps a little bit too much heavy cover there. There's like three sets of sandbags here. Trimbog and Vance Ward trying to engage this Scope Rifle Squad. Pioneers gain some damage there onto the Scope Rifle Squad now. One Pioneer Squad does fall back. This uh, the Scope Squad, Scope Rifle Squad is down half of its health. Up here, do you have this Rifleman Squad engaging this Pioneer, trying to capture these points? As in the Scope Rifle Squad, is even too much damage there. Pioneers should be able to capture that fuel point. HQ Command truck now packed it up, and now making its way over this mini sector. Actually, he's eyeing for this spot here, which is just a strategic point. Hold me, Johnny. I think I'm gonna cry. We got two MG MG42s pulled out of here and two pioneers. No Volkswagen I don't think I've seen a single squad of Volkswagen on this map. Yep, I see no Volkswagen Deers deployed on out. There's the first squad of Volkswagen Deers. Right from squad engineers to the board. They do get suppressed by this MG42. You have a mortar emplacement right there that would be useful versus the MG42 emplacement, but maybe it pulled a little bit too far forward and a little bit too much in the open. Right here seems like a better spot for me. Trimbog does spot the mortar emplacement being built there. Rifle squad still seems some fire. If such is trying to engage that Trimbogin, and this rifle and these rifle and squad and engineers do fall back there. The rifle squad is still engaging on out. We have this Pioneer, it does evacuate the building there. Over here, infrastructure engaging the Sherman Wagon, got the MG42 and Volkswagen Deers here as well, getting some damage onto them. Pioneers trying to advance forward, trying to decapture that fuel point. Rifle Squad are advancing forward. NCO's this one does not get suppressed just yet, this one's trying to get hit as well. Board placement are raining on in on top of this Rifle Squad. On this uh, MG42, this MG42 is probably going to get wiped on out, does get suppressed down by this other MG42. Does evacuate the building there. Maybe I'll take it out. So so wounded. Fires a volley there. Does get one model, but looks like the other one will skip on out there. Both these rifle squads are currently suppressed and both fall back. We now have a Brent squad here. This MG42 is a bit of mortar fire. And now we do have the field support truck being pulled out of the field. Brandon squad advancing on forward, gets some damage there onto the Sherman Vaughan. Scope Rifle squad advancing forward with the support of a lieutenant. In 4 2 in the back line, so the squad may get suppressed. Does get suppressed. 
Pioneer should could try to top her off the fairly scratches onto that Sherman Wagen. And right now the Pioneer Squad seems to fire there. We've got more mortars running on in. I don't think that's gonna look or not work her. Which not from Kanada work with the three-inch mortar emplacement. It's MP42 and Flame and Pioneers now advancing down south. Volt Trendiers engaging the headquarters command truck. And this French squad will manage to flank the MG42. Does get a bit of fire down the left hand, and the left hand does get gunned down by the Spandau. Flamer trying to get some damage there onto the EOS support truck there. I thought I saw something building from it. Guess not. Mortar eyeing for Barrage here. Got a Veramox Sniper. Gave some hits down the Rifleman. Gets a bit of pressure there on the rifle squad, but does get completely overwhelmed by multiple squads. Does fall back in time, make it wiped out. This M42 is about to get overran as well. It's actually a soft retreat away. Enemy vehicle has been knocked out. Chairman Wagen does go down to the Brent squad. Brent squad getting burned alive. Tommy does get burned alive. Come on. Let's go for our squad to see a bit of fire there. And it looks like the uh, Glam Warfare squad does go down. These squads are currently suppressed there. Could just give them a retreat order to get them unsuppressed. US Rifleman squad streaming on in. We've got the Fairmark Sniper and MP42 trying to push the way forward. Get some good suppression over here. And his squad does fall back now. Fresh rifle grenades being pulled out of field. He does has lost the Bren squad. His teammate has currently four rifle squads going for bars now. We got these two rifle squads here engaging the MP42 Sue, trying to pack on up. Got two MP42s here. This one is sort of just sitting there. Flamers against four, gains up with damage. So this rocket squad may get wiped out. Does throw a frag grenade before shooting him back. Does get some good damage on the Pioneer. This rocket squad may get a flank off. Trying to set up this one here. Defense crews could get some decent damage as well. It does get some burst off there. Doesn't get him suppressed. Its bursts are being a bit funny. Does not get the MG42 wiped out. Now got these two Vermark snipers rotating around. That squad does fall back. Flamer Pioneer needs to fall back. He may use Ploy as mid marksman there. Enemy unit. It does take up the Flamer Pioneer. Rifle grenade squad capture the VP. The Axis players took a slight advantage, but that will quickly change. And we got the Sappers now repairing up the HQ command truck. Very nice. Support weapon center being pulled on out, eyeing for some snipers of his own. MG42 over here. Pioneers push my forward. Another MG42 as well. Got a lot of MG42s out on the field. Let's see. We got three MG42s and two, so that's five MG42s. Saints going for Stewart. Rock grenade does get a small hit there. Let's get Fetch C1 here, so these guys will start regenerating health slowly. Mortar raining some hits over here, trying to hit these snipers, looks like. Let's go for the squad. It's a steep bit of suppression there. Pack 3 does fall back in time. And the squad does get pinned. Over here, we got these two squads along the flank. And the scope of the squad does get pinned. Entry 4 2 pushing forward. We got a fresh bunker on field. It is a cash recovery bunker, but it's also a good position there to throw in your MG42. Flame Pioneer is fighting away. Does get a good grenade there. Does take out one of the models, however. 
Rifle Squad does get suppressed there. Other Rifle Squads push way forward. Can clean, clean, range near. Layman Pioneer will be able to get some good defense going on. Or not work for get some good hits as well. He's trying to get overran. His teammates have two Vermox on his main stand forward. We'll Layman Pioneer is still get burnt out. And the capture recovery bunker is now pulling a few, but currently not covering any casualties. Engine 4 2 just sort of moving to forward. Good damage there on the lead of bunker. And over on those snipers there. And 4 2 will get some good suppression now. Fresh, or not so fresh folks, it is for 3 4, but getting forced a little bit. And right now it's trying to stop those flame engineers. Let's get some great damage there with the M242. Takes push that those rifle squads. Folks, my dears, are seeing a bit of fire there. And does fully withdraw the squad now. Bunker almost goes down. So far, we've covered no casualties. We are losing ground. Stuart now on field and does take out the bunker. Captain and rifle grenadier now banks on board. Let's get a shot there on the captain. We have now eventually one infantry squad. And there's a strafe and run there. They are really tired of those snipers. The captain does go down to the Vermox sniper. Is that one support unit? Is that one infantry? We are losing but not territory. that one might be able to mod. Rifle Grenadier does get forced back. More shots over there. We got now the grenade warfare. It's a good hit there onto those scope rifle squad. <clears throat> Act 38 is pushing their way forward. You have a landmine here, over here. U.S. Sniper points your way forward, zero kills. As I always mentioned beforehand, first kill for sniper should be opponent's sniper. And he may get it right there. Vermark sniper. Fired the shot there, U.S. Sniper was not quick enough on draw. U.S. Sniper push forward, uncamouflage, does get re in time. Recon run was not good enough. Yeah, two Vermox snipers in this area, two US snipers up here. We got this right friend here, does get forced back. Another recon run there. Let's spot that sniper there. Boy does, nope, does snipe him. I just want to say, deploy that in the mark, designated marksman to be useful as well. And now we got the intersection gain suppressed as well. Over here, commandos now dropped on in, so we've got commandos and airborne. Versus two unknown Vermock doc, uh, doctors just yet. We do actually got Boots Creek. The other player has, has not selected the doctor just yet. Grenade has been thrown the into, into the garrison. Mando Squad needs to fall back. We're going to see a nice grenade hit there. It does fall back there. Macy Canister rounds. Let's see if a uh, Canister Truck shot there. I wonder if his uh, sappers have repairs. Nope, it's Piet's. Needs to get that steward out of there to get repairs. Over here, we do have the Stu now advance forward. US players trying to go for some uh, landmines there. Landmine was destroyed. Rifle squad, I don't know if he has access to sticky bombs. He doesn't. Going for our motor pool now, so sniper goes down, rolls a miss on the rifle squad, and now it's two snipers. I don't think he even realized those are sniper corpses. And now, Stuart gets a good rear armor hit there. Does get a good sticky bomb as well. The Stuart could finish off the stew. Rolls the bouncer on the front of armor from the rear. On one of our strategic locations. 
having trouble. Gets a damage and crit there. It's already had a damage and crit, so you really can't move has a good engine. That's a good hit there. Rear armor from the front this time. Another sticky bomb connects. And there goes the Stu. Monos need some reinforcements. Rifleman squad's pushing over here as well without reinforcements. You can always get them reinforced here. Not a great spot for him. Doesn't have a true. It does have a true center at home. Right now he has four rifleman squad, two flame engineers, a bit of manpower, not any munitions, small fuel. The the uh, British player does now deploy out Cromwell tank, has the armor command truck, as a uh, couple of intersections, Piet Sapper, Amondos, which still needs some reinforcements. And of course the Stuart. Ghost Creek player only has the MP42 sees one had the snipers if I remember correctly. Now I'll just get a fresh grenadier, has a flame engineer, and a stew. And his teammate right now has two grenadiers, one upgrade of Pantrek, MP42, Pack 30, and the Grenade Warfare. He does also have now Terror Dodge selected, has gotten Firestorm available. Going for the V1. And do have a landmine being employed on out. Entrance squad advancing on forward, trying to get a gauge with there. Does receive a rifle grenade. Two rolls on this down the scope rifle squad. Attention! The enemy advances! More rifle grenades, of course, being fired. Good hit there by the Grenade Warfer. Does have a caching uh, recovery bunker. And this rifleman squad does find a landmine there and falls back. Do we see any more landmines? I do not see any more. Over here, rifleman squads are pushing way forward. So far, some of the commies. Commanders have captured the BP. Got two squads of grenadiers here. Fetch C2. Rifleman squad does receive that of MG42 fire now. Cromwell was pushing way forward, rolls a bounce there on the stew. I think those may have been a squad wipe there on the engineers. Bunker does go up, yeah, facing spool locations, either repair bunker or going to be catch recovery bunker. It is going to be a repair bunker. Up here, come on, let's push way forward. Looks like they de de crew the MG42 and now they're falling back. Now do have the Cromwell seen bit of fire there. Does camouflage up? Cromwell severely wounded. Fresh commando glider now pulled on the field, trying to overrun this pack 38. Of course, he'll be in the radius of the MG42. And right now, the pack 30 does get the crew. This one's still up and going. Cromwell does escape on out there. Severely wounded, however. Got some M118 on this region. This Commando Squad's maybe trying to push forward with a grenade. Does get a grenade uh, blown up there. Does need to fall back. Right now, it's just already getting wiped out. And he does get falling back there. Down to one last model. And looks like he will escape on out of there. Got this flame engineer trying to get some good damage on the Grenadiers. Going for another Pantrex, going for double Pantrex. And they've got these AT guns being forced on back. Our squad received a bit of fire there. It does throw a grenade. It gets a good hit there. Receiving a bit of repairs there. Grenadiers have thrown a grenade. 
Let's get a good, not really good hit there. Right near the same private damage there. Does get wiped out. Drops himself a Panzer Strike. And that's some very good force. I'm going to pick up a ability to throw both Sticky Bombs and Fire Panzer Strikes. Come out, it's not pushed way forward. Trying to get some damage there on these Volks Grenadiers. They have pointed out a pack. We've got the Strike Squad pushed way forward. Does also the Grenade Warfare. Stu finds a deadly hit there on the Rifle Squads. Does fall back there. Your Sniper. And second kill. I think that commander squad just got wiped out. Was that a rifle squad? Off our power. No. 25 pounder. The uh, decoy barrage. He now has access to the decoy barrage as well as a 25 pounder barrage. Recon run coming on forward. Oh, spot a whole bunch of stuff. German forces are trying to secure one of Oops, our. Oops, and I had that bunker selective while switching place, so now there's going to be a permanent reticle. Act 38, push away four. Got the MG42 in the woods, as well as this double equip and Shrek. Got demolition charge there as well. That is a US sniper. Right next to a demolition charge there. You may want to not be there. Because the Grenade Warfare rains a shot there and rolls a miss, they could blow him up. Jerry's pushed through our lines and is trying to take a victory point. Let's get inside the garrison there. And now got the shot there. Oof! Drops the three of the models there on the commando squad. Another recon run. We'll find the pack there right there. Commandos may want to fall back. The bower could potentially get wiped out right here. They got wiped out right there. And now that is another decoy barrage. Commandos push right forward, so is the scope rifle squad. We have a victory point under attack. Commandos, you can use our smoke grenade ability there. It will close on that MG42. And the MG42 does get forced back there, though that commando squad is severely wounded down the two models. German I'm not sure where that other model may be at the moment. Oh, it's way up there. There he is. Falls back now. Could get wiped out. Running's not being focused down, however. This commando squad will overrun this pack 38. He's on the medic as well. Very nice. I'm not sure how many couches he's ever played this game, but currently he has none stored up. Granada Warfare will get over around there. Got another. We got a full 25 pounder barrage there. Mono squad may fall back sooner rather than later. Medic may bring back the first casualty. Those guys brave on the fire, but does go down to the 25 pounder barrage. Scope of squad trying to capture the central VP. We've got the Stu in this region as well. Seeing as teammate has gone for airborne, he is pulling his HQs onto these munition sectors there. Very nice. This one is also a small one. Yeah, that's a small one as well. So I think these maximize the amount of missions they can get through the forward HQs. Okay, here's some uh, explosions over here. Does it have the grenade deer? Got not the Panzer Command not pulled out by one of the Wehrmacht players. It is this player here. One has tier four now. It is the northern one. His teammate. Also, just play out Pants Command as well. One has tier 4 now, the other has tier 4 now. Let's get some good suppression there. Do you now have the Tiger Pounds available for this player? Farmo makes his way forward. Rockman Squad does a bit of fire there. Does see a grenade as well, does fall back. And the squad does fall back. Over here, doing all the troops, seeing some repairs. Over here, we got the Stuart here as well. Infrastructure now advancing up north. The enemy is seizing our territory. Stuart's in the fire there. We've got rolled in the mist there. Pioneer's trying to hold the line. 
Carmel's getting some good work there, but we've also got the Pack 38 engaged in the Pro Arm well. Zero defense forward does get a shot there in the Pack 38. Pack 38's not doing all too well in health. So it does receive a shot there. Stu is receiving good damage there from the Pro well. Now got the 25 pounder barrage coming up from the Commandos. Very nice. Except we still got the pan truck here that I think that squad may have two pan trucks as well. Let's get a good hit there. Ready to there, taking out the number of those repair pioneers. Stu does go down to, of course, Stu does go down to Stu. This Grenadier squad needs to get out of there to get reinforcements. What's out of here? One of our sectors has been cut off. We do now have a radio beacon there. The scoop of squad does fall back. You can pounce to make his way forward. Damage and crit there onto the Chromo, but of course he's on the road, so they move a little bit faster. And this was a double pan truck squad. Yeah, this player doesn't have a whole lot of resources at the moment. The Blitzkrieg player does have a bit of munitions there, enough for manpower blitz, but he's pretty far away with manpower, main points for manpower blitz. The commando player oh, yeah, has a bit of munitions there. He can deploy a glider HQ, one of the rare things to see from the British Arsenal. And get out some Piet Commandos, which does is a three-man Piet team with two uh, members. Yeah, these commandos getting ripped apart by these uh, Knights Crossholders. Straight around does come forward. Completely, almost completely whiffs there. Knights Crossholder does get splashed a little bit. I think he has a good hit there in the rifle grenade squad. Do now Blitz Creek now activated. What was it? Enemy unit. Or no, it's actually inspired assault. Never mind. Knights Crossholder does go down there. I think see a bit of fire there. Commandos fire to go down as well. Commandos will escape out of there. I can fall back at the Vet 3 Knights Cross Holders advancing on forward. There's just too much squads everywhere trying to hit down this Piet squad. Does get flinched around a little bit. Another decoy barrage there, not an actual barrage. Does get a pack trick shot there, directly down the pack 38. Grenade works trying to set on up. Knights Cross Holders pushing forward and hit these AT guns. AT gun does get decrewed, the Granada Warp will get decrewed as well. These shots over here. Another squad of Knights Crossword is being pulled out on the field. And the Tiger Tank will need his engine repaired. Over here, we do have the Flame Engineers forcing back the Scope Rifle Squad. Farmall at full health. There is a landmine there deployed by the Wehrmacht player. What is fully built? It is fully built. Got a recon run to come out forward. No, that's a straight run. Gain some great damage on these forces. Let's go for our squad to see a bit of fire there. We are losing territory. Our squad now seeing a bit of fire there from the MG42. Stu's now making its way over there as well. Landmine has not been spotted there, so that US sniper may find it. And Stu's might have a point blank shot there. Gets a good hit there. US sniper may find the landmine. Come on, make my day. Next crosshold is pushing way forward. Into the commandos. Sniper's falling back. Stu will find the Carmo. Fires a shot there onto the Knights Crossholders. This is an unvetted Knights Crossholder squad. Sniper receiving a fire there and making a slow advance. The Knights Crossholders getting some good damage there onto this commando squad. And Sniper does get forced back there and the Carmo does find a landmine. Grenade has been thrown in the intersection squad there, gets good damage. Cromwell seems some good hits there. The Tiger Tank still has its engine damage. I'm not sure if there's any repair bunkers. Doesn't appear to be. And you've got two hello casts now charging on forward as well. You've got the two small casts trying to flank around the big cat. The 
Now I've got the Tiger Tank. I've seen quite a bit of damage there. Pioneer's still trying to repair it up. We've got a Panstrex shot there. This squad does have two Panstrex. Sick Mommy's connect there. One health. Oh, the shoot does go down there. King Tiger or Terrego Tiger does get its gun destroyed, immobilized, engine damage. Panstrex rolls and misses there. The Hellcat may skip on there. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of misses there. Got two AT guns in this region. Got these forces, Knights crossholders, and a Pantrek squad. Which we board. Only one Pantrek on that squad. And the Skull Park squad may get overran. AT guns looks like we'll get overran as well. There's final landmine there and a straight run that does not take up the other Knights crossholders. But that artillery does not take out wipe out any of those squads either. We've got another the radio triangulation over here, so this needs one more. Maybe in the try to get in the back left right corner. Find some landmines here. Does throw a grenade there. Got MG42 down right here as well, so the rifleman could try capturing it up. The enough ammo and fuel. Oh yeah, he has plenty of ammo, plenty of fuel. 25 pounder barrage raining on in somewhere. Maybe somewhere up here. Supply lines up there. Does find a good hit there. Gets good hits there on the grenadiers. Instruction starting to get suppressed there. Red has plenty of resources. The US player has plenty of resources, even for uh, airborne with a good amount of manpower. Is oh wait, I just realized something. The airborne player has a lot of Hellcats in the field. The Boats Creek player is going for another Tiger tank. There's a Panther on the field. This player has gone for a Panther, and he does have access to the King Tiger as well, so they can fly a lot of big cats. Rifleman squad is pushing right forward, gonna get burned up a little bit by the Pioneer. Tiger tank now pull on the field, only about to see one still. And Flame Pioneer does go down. Ooh, that's a great hit. Four kills in his first shot. Now it's the Panstrike squad as well. Does we pick up the bar there? Uh, veteran. Okay, that's the other player. Getting Veteran one on his Panther. He's forced on getting suppressed there, getting hit significantly. I got the 30 cal now trying to suppress these forces. Hellcats soft are retreating away. Right now the axe players are down a large number of tickets and they're counting down still against them. After pushing forward, getting some shots there. It does use propaganda war to force back that sniper. That's probably not a great target for it. You really want that sniper dead, I guess. Axe crossbow is able to overrun the 30 cal, which I think that was actually. Oh, I think I know what. I think his teammate dropped him, him some supply drops to give him some munitions and fuel, as with some support weapons. And I think that's why he says I have enough fuel and ammo now. He actually, his team was supporting him out. Very nice. I just realized the implication of that takes that 30 cal. Is that the casualty cover bunker there? Ooh, the crit. What are you doing? Throwing out a lot of wounded infantry sections here. He has six infantry sections on the field somehow. I think from the casualty recovery bunker. Oh, cast for four. It's been hits there. It does get the panther button there. It does hit the panther right quickly. He makes tiger tank still way up here. The Decapons are cannot be pulled out on the field. And one of them does back the game now, so that's gonna be a replay. Okay. Just leaving this player left. But the enemy now is starting to back out the game now. That 
is the end of replay. This is Anna Great saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.